How's it going guys and gals? Welcome back to a very quick tutorial here. I'm going to show you the best settings that I have found for recording videos using OBS for YouTube or wherever you want to put them basically. But for recording, these are the best settings I have found. So let's do it. All right, guys, first thing you need to do is go into OBS Studio, obviously load it up, go into your settings and move from the general tab down to the output section. So go to the output tab. You're going to change it from simple to advanced because we are advanced people. We are doing this in advanced mode and then click recording. Now, type needs to stay as standard. Uh, the recording path, obviously pick a hard drive that's got a reasonable amount of space. You're going to need quite a big hard drive, at least, you know, a couple hundred gigabytes spare on it to be able to store very large videos. If you're not making large videos, that's fine. Uh, but make sure you've got enough space on your hard drive anyway. Choose your hard drive. Recording format, we're going to use MKV. The reason for this is because if there's a problem, then MKV is a very reliable format. So MKV is the format we're going to use to record into. Audio tracks, we're going to tick every single one of those for the time being. Once you've um, watched my video, which is going to be out soon about what the audio tracks mean and how you can use them to your advantage. Pick which ones you want. But for the minute, just choose all of them because then when you're in your editing software like Premiere, um, then you can essentially you can mute each one anyway. So you can pick out which one you want to listen to. So, but either way, go into that in another video. Not to the point. <laughs> uh, choose all of them. Encoder. Right. So NVIDIA NVENC, I still believe is the best encoder for you to use if you have an NVIDIA card. Now, whether it's a 1060, 1070, 1080, 1080 Ti, whether it's one of the 20 series cards with the RTX or whether it's a 30 series card, you're going to want to use NVIDIA NVENC to record in this particular manner because it just means you can do so much more on your PC, if, especially if you're using a single PC setup. Leave the rescale output as it is and custom muxer settings we're also going to leave as they are. Rate control down here needs to be CBR. This stands for constant bit rate. Okay, so it's going to keep that bit rate constant and we're going to go for 45,000 kilobits. Okay, now the best way to do it is actually using a setting called CQP. However, there's something that I've noticed in Premiere recently, which is that it doesn't like recordings that are done in CQP. So although that is the best way for file size and things like this, it's not always going to be reliable with Premiere. So this is a kind of a standard setting that I have found personally has been working for me last year and up till the current time, uh, the best with Adobe Premiere. So CBR, uh, 45,000 is going to give you a cracking uh, quality video. Keyframe interval, we'll leave that as two. Preset, you can probably do max quality. If you find that you have issues, then drop it down to quality, but you probably won't need to. Leave that as max quality. Profile high. Look ahead and psychovisual tuning. Turn them on. If it's streaming, these are different settings. Do not use these settings for streaming ever, please. But for recording, these will give you a very, very high quality, reliable recording that you can then move into any video editing software very easily. One last thing is when you are recording in this method, because they are MKV files, not all software editing wise will actually be particularly fond of those MKVs for editing. Uh, Premiere is one of those. So what you want to do at the end when you finished your recording is go up to file, which is obviously in the top of the screen, go to Remux recordings and where in the OBS recording section here, just click uh, the three dots, find the video recording that you've just made. So go find it wherever it may be, click open, it will appear in there and it will give you a target file as well and just click remux this will go green you click that it will then basically take that mkv it will turn it into an mp4 and you will then be able to import that into all your your video editing software that you want to use easy peasy lemon squeezy all right guys hopefully you found these settings useful these are the ones i've been using for a very long time now and they've just worked perfectly obviously if you didn't feel free to let me know in the comments and hopefully if you let me let us know your system you know, what graphics card you have, what CPU you have, etc. Maybe someone else has got the same system and has a tweak that can work for you as well. Be sure to leave a thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you don't. That's cool as well. And you can, of course, come and ask any questions or join me live on Twitch. Link for that is down in the description. Twitch.tv forward slash Calamex Games. Subscribe if you want more. What else do I have to say? What else do I say? 
what else do we say? 